Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined here with Verana. Hey yo, hey yo, and welcome hey back to another Park Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're gonna be looking at Geyser Falls, created by Snowbum One, and here they say Geyser Falls is a theme to a Western gold rush town set in the early 1900s, with two massive waterfalls and geysers all over, though with stunning rock arches. Explore this stunning town called Geyser Falls. Thanks, Johnny, for setting up this contest and keep the keep up the great work. Also, please, can you look at the park at night? Thanks, Snowbum One. Okay, that's a perfect length intro. Why why can't everyone else try that? All right, welcome back everyone. Here we are at the Geyser Falls. That's a great sign. Yep. We don't have that web here, so I don't know if we'll remember nighttime, <laughs> but hopefully Ferrana can remind me. I'll try to, to channel my inner web, I guess. <laughs> what, are you, what are you, Spider-Man? Maybe. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a bad joke. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry. Okay. Well, <laughs> this this is a fun little uh, restaurant. I like the outside. Man, that looks good. Yeah. It's a good placement as well near the entrance. Ride into the saloon. Get a hey, beer. Look at that. They're in the building. It's kind of fun. <laughs> well, let's go in. Okay. It's our s favorite sundial. The one that takes forever to get going. <laughs> is it a sundial? It yeah. is! Okay. I told you. Ah, I just had a nice breeze come through the window. Oh my god. More. I haven't fe felt a breeze all summer. What is this? <laughs> oh. This is wi winter is coming. Johnny. Yes, thank you. <laughs> The long anticipated winter. I hate summer as well. <sighs> I don't hate it, but it gets exhausting after a while, doesn't it? Yeah, well, in Europe it's often very humid, you know, it's just. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why does everyone choose oh, nice. flat rides that are spinny? I'm watching this on VR glasses, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking these perspectives, though. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. Ooh. Oh, a little river. So far, Waterfall. we've seen a handful of Western mini parks, and they're all completely different from one another. They, uh, yeah. I mean, you haven't seen all the ones that I've seen, but I know you've seen a couple with me, and I think each one of these Western parks, I mean, the viewers will know by now. Uh, that, that what they've seen and uh, they've all stand out in their own way. This is going more with this crazy wild tenderly Crumbling terrain with lots of geysers and water it feels really refreshing this park But I kind of also expect to see the river rapids or a log flume with all this kind of theming mm -hmm. So hopefully we get to see that but we've, we've seen a nice diversity of Western parks and all really good ones I don't think I disliked any of the Western parks so far. In fact, I they were some of my favorites in the whole series up until now. And I think that's kind of surprising because Western tends to end up being people's least favorite theme as a as a sort of general consensus. Oh, doing the wires like that with the... <laughs> although these don't require power, so it doesn't <laughs> really make sense, but it's fun. I, we're nice really shirt. trucking back here. I feel like we're going on a little venture. I feel like just chilling out back there in the shade. <laughs> yeah, you get to see a nice, nice views from uh, this queue. Yeah, it's quite the nice walk. Now we're headed back in. Hey, these are cool canopies. Ooh. Everyone's reading. So wooden coaster. Gnarler. What's the difference between the Gnarler and the monster? I thought the Gnarler was a hybrid. Now I'm confused. I don't I'm not entirely sure. The monster's on there. 
Okay, this one's taking off, so let's get on there. We'll go in seat view. <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> literally kicked in as we're going to the yeah, warning station. What a shame. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I definitely feel that um, it was a little bit tame for a wooden coaster. I think there could have been a lot more action there. Same with the cowboy stuff, but it has kind of a cool layout and the way you've tied that into the scenery and put some sawed off logs for the supports. It has some really neat elements. Just kind of leaves you wanting a little bit more. Yeah. Gotta love for good Woody. <laughs> That's what she said. That's what I guess you said it. <laughs> I've, I've said it plenty of times. Don't feel bad. <laughs> you had to jump on that. <laughs> Jeez, you're on a I roll. Set you up. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> it's two a.m. Okay, it's. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> okay, so we're going to the other side of the park. That's a cool looking view. Uh, interesting. Hmm. Burger That's hot dogs. Never had a burger, burger dog. Burger dog. Burger dog. It's like where you jam a burger into a hot dog <laughs> bun. <laughs> Why? Just fold it in half and call it a hot dog. <laughs> Is that a real thing? No, absolutely oh. not. I mean, maybe. <laughs> I've seen people fold pizza in half, and I kind of want to send them to the graveyard. But um, what do we got here? Okay. Do you have, wait, do you do that? The, uh, what? He said, oh, okay. You don't fold your pizza in half, I hope. Otherwise, we can't, no. we can't be friends anymore. I don't. Okay, good. Uh, don't worry. I just eat it with knife and fork. That's fine. I don't. It's... <laughs> What's this? Oh, Gears for Fear. Gears for or Fear. It's this is probably the trickiest one in the game to skin. Yeah, it looks already pretty badass by itself, I think. Yeah. But it's also kind of like, well, I put it down, so... And because it it's looks just... so badass, I don't have to do anything to it. Yeah. But, uh, well, maybe... Those, those buildings are cute. They are. <laughs> Mm hmm. Now the path work is a little bit strange because we came all the way over here just for the Gears of Fear. We went all the way back there just for the wooden coaster. So it's kind of like a U shape, but there's not a lot of shopping in between or side attractions. I feel like yeah. we, we got through the park way too quickly compared to some of the others that we've seen. Yet, if you look at it from a distance, it looks like there's so much going on. So, yeah. and I think for me, I'm a little bit disappointed that the main attraction being that wooden coaster wasn't as exhilarating as I would have liked it to be. And looking at all the refreshing geysers just poking up everywhere, I really, for once, want to go on a log flume. Um, <laughs> I think this is the perfect place for a log flume. I think with yeah. all the rolling hills, how it can go up and down and in between and fit through canyons and crevices and underneath waterfalls. And there's a lot of opportunity to run um, a river rapids through here, even a boat ride, you know. Uh, I feel like the space could have been utilized a little bit better, but at the same time, it's busy. So it's it's a little contradicting to me. I'm not sure what to say. Yeah. I, I feel looks like, like... Go ahead. Yeah, no, it, it looks like there's like a whole plaza on the left near the coaster, but I don't think it actually is. No, it's that's, kind of cute. Uh, there are some there are some shops, but did we just miss some stuff or... No, they're just... Sh I, they're I, shut down. They're not... They're, just, they're um, not... They're not shops. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Would have been a nice plaza. Definitely. Um, it would 
Yeah, go yeah, ahead. you could also maybe have had some ro um, pathing going maybe over the coaster or under it or something. Um, just uh, combine it a little bit. Yeah, just more uh, vista points. Yeah, like little trails leading to vista points. But um, I would have tried to incorporate your river rapids as your main attraction based off of your theme. This feels like I'm coming here for a water park. Geyser Falls? It even says it in the name, right? There's a little picture of water there. I feel like I'm yeah. going to get wet when I come to this park. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's so hot and dry that I expect to get a little bit wet. Or at least have some, like, <laughs> maybe maybe your main attraction being a water cascade or something where it has some splashdowns and touchdowns. Was there some uh, effects near that gear for fear? The water effects or just... Oh, that's the steam. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe there was something going on there. But with that said, I mean, I, I'm feeling like... Oh, I explained, I expressed how I felt about that. I still look at this and go, this is really unique. The amount of green that you have popping with the amount of blue from the water and the sky, you know, all that stuff, it's 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 looking really nice. And you have little hits of color on the signs and it has a, this popping element and you've taken kind of the red rock, but brushed in some grass in there. I really like the terraforming and the mixture of boulders, the colors of the boulders, and it looks unique from all the other Western parks. And I think with that said, if you would have gone with that uniqueness of the terrain, the layout, and the water, and pushed it into a western water park. That's also something that I haven't seen done. A western water park. So, I feel like there's a missed opportunity there, but what you've done here is also really unique all on its own. I don't think the water park element is necessary because it's still unique. But the main actual center plaza of the park, I felt with a lot of the other mini parks, we had a lot more time to explore and look around. Um, a lot of beaten paths, places to loop around, bring us back around and things to look at. This one didn't trail us off quite enough. Yeah, I agree. I'm sad it's already over. Yeah, yeah, because when I first opened it up, I'm like, this is going to be awesome. And not that it wasn't, it just went by quick and i was like oh well that's interesting i guess you're the narrator of your park and when you set this all up it's going to the amount of pathing that you do the amount of running us around you do is going to dictate how much we end up looking at and it seems from a bird's eye view there's a lot more to look at than it meets the eye but the actual environment the nature the shots that we saw are really breathtaking so i still commend you on what you did here with this western theme and i i would uh, encourage you to try pushing this or expanding this even um taking this idea and running with this kind of guy Geyser falls, putting more waterfalls in there, more water rides, having rides go through waterfalls and geysers, all that stuff. Because um, I love this idea of a geyser falls water park in a Western village, uh, something I don't think I've seen on the show. So yeah, definitely a cool concept. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below for Snowbomb One on Geyser Falls. And that's going to do it for us in today's Park Spotlight. We hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye now. Bye. Uh. <laughs>